the initially good thing of having sugar factories literally colonize Busoga region has turned out problematic in the end, putting peasants' land at stake and food security of the region endangered. Regulating the sugar players and the industry is not easy for the local leaders. This is a bit economically powerful uh, that you can't convince them, uh, you can't fight them on the ground. I had come up with a number of uh, strategies uh, to avoid this, but all has been a problem to us. You even find them threatening that whoever leader will come up uh, fighting them, they will ensure that they, f they finance an opponent to throw out. So other leaders have withdrawn. Secondly, just the process of passing the relevant bylaws can take more than a political term, discouraging the local leadership. But Mayuga district attempted and has succeeded to pass a bylaw to regulate sugarcane growing. It went to the Attorney General, who scrutinized it thoroughly and ensured that ensured that it does not contradict with any existing laws. Then it was passed in 2012. It was sent to the Gazette and it's now a law. It took Mayuga district about four years to get the bylaws. Ideally, other districts like Luoka should just adopt the same ordinance. Every farmer who wants to grow, to grow sugarcane must get approval from the district. And we have tested all the sugar factories around and we've amended the forms for sugarcane growing that no farmer can grow sugarcane without reserving one and a half acres for food production. We don't want to see anybody who has below, who has less than two acres to cultivate sugarcane. With the sugarcane economy comes the new challenge of infrastructure. We have also introduced a tax on the sugarcane lorries because they are becoming a menace in the district <coughs> to, to try to get some money to repair our roads. Cascading a fluid cash environment onto a peasant has got to be managed. And now that Mayuge has the law, the rest of Bosoga can follow and the hope is that politics will not render the law toothless.